All right, what's going on guys? This is the Boxing Genius here and today I'm going to be talking about why I don't do boxing drills and why I think they're unnecessary. Now, I want to make a distinction first between external drills and built-in drills. So built-in drills are what you do on the heavy bag. Heavy bag is a built-in drill. Why is that? Because you are simulating something that actually occurs in a fight. Okay, and you are incorporating that into your, or you are doing a drill that actually simulates what you're going to do in a fight. An external drill is something that doesn't simulate what you do in a fight. It is not fight specific. It is not something that you'll actually do in the ring, but then you do it nonetheless because you think that it's gonna carry over to something. So let's just take an analogy for basketball, for example. There are guys who dribble with two balls, okay? They dribble with two balls. Stephen Curry, uh, Kyrie Irving, right? They dribble with two balls and then everybody just started doing the same thing. Everybody just started dribbling two balls as well. Now here's the problem with that. The problem is that it's an external drill, okay? Which means that you don't actually dribble two balls in a in a basketball game. And just because you are dribbling twice as much as you actually dribble in the real game, it doesn't necessarily mean that dribbling with one ball will be easier if you master the art of dribbling two balls. And here's my contention. A lot of the drills that we do in boxing is placebo. Or a lot of the effects that we take away from what we do in these external drills is placebo effect which means that we think it's actually improving our skill in a way when in fact it doesn't really do shit, okay? I've known a lot of guys who doesn't really do any ladder drills or tennis ball drills that Lomachenko uses. I would bet my fucking money on those guys. If Lomachenko did not do that tennis ball drill that he does all the time, I still think that he'll have the same accuracy. Same thing with Manny Pacquiao. If Manny Pacquiao didn't do those ladder drills that he would do on top of the mountains in California, guess what? He still has the same footwork. Why is that? Because those things are just added in to have fun, to have variety, to have, you know, to change things up. It doesn't necessarily carry over to a particular skill that you'll do in the ring. Why is that? Because it does not actually simulate a fight. It does not actually simulate what you'll do in the ring. It does not actually simulate your movement in the ring. So. Here's the thing, instead of wasting your time with those external drills that you may be doing, right? Tennis ball drills, uh, ladder drills, what else? Because a lot of guys are making money off of those. And it, it sickens me because a lot of people are like, Oh, I've been doing this, this drill and then it's really improved my footwork. Oh, I've, I've been doing this drill and it's really improved my punching accuracy. Yeah. Okay, let's say you've been doing a tennis ball drill. Yeah. It, it might you may have fun you may think that it's improving your accuracy but how sure are you that it actually came from that maybe it came from your actual training itself maybe it came from sparring and so it's really an uncertain thing and it, it's just sickens me that a lot of people are making money out of this by selling you a hundred dollar course or a fifty dollar course or a uh, twenty dollar drill book in order to improve your punching power in 30 days guys it's all bullshit okay if you want to do drills everything must be built into your own or everything must be built in drills which means that it should simulate what you'll do in the fight heavy bag is something that is built in and i've always said this about you know uh, the built-in cameras of the of the laptops this is my analogy right here there are laptop companies that doesn't really pay attention to their laptop or to their built-in cameras because it is not paid attention to or it is not emphasized enough okay people are willing to buy a separate webcam in order to to have a better quality camera when in fact these laptop companies could have just spent 30 or 40 dollars more in order to improve the quality of their built-in camera but why don't they do it because consumers are not necessarily paying attention to the built-in camera they are willing to pay what like uh, 500 grand or 500 dollars on a separate webcam you know a lot of people are really spending money on these things and i think that's the same thing that we're doing with our boxing training man a lot of boxers waste their time on external drills instead of doing built-in drills and instead of focusing on a certain technical aspect into their game into these built-in exercises which are those heavy bag double end bag right simulates what you do in a fight shadow boxing simulates what you do in a fight jump rope not necessarily i've known a lot of guys who don't jump rope but they have great footwork okay so everything must be built in to what you'll actually do or everything must be built into your boxing uh, exercises it should not be external exercises that does not simulate what you'll do in a ring a lot of people waste their money on this a lot of people waste, waste their time on this and it's fun it's cool it's it adds variety to your training but let's be fucking honest they're unnecessary i'm not gonna say they're useless because they have their use what is that 
It's for you to have fun. It's for you to change things up in your training. It's for you not to get bored with doing the same thing over and over again. And I understand that, right? A lot of these drills, even the ladder drill, yes, it can improve your conditioning, but skill-wise, not really. Footwork-wise, not really. I'm telling you that right now. A lot of these basketball players who, will be, who does these uh, ladder drills to improve their footwork, I'm, I'm going to bet my money on it. Even if they didn't do that shit, they're still going to have great footwork. I bet my money that even if Lomachenko did not do that tennis ball drill that he does, you know, where he bounces back and forth in front of him, I can still bet my money that he'll have the same accuracy, the same punching accuracy. So that's it, man. Um, don't waste your time on these external drills. I mean, it's fun, it looks cool, but at the end of the day, they're unnecessary. You don't need to do them. And if I were you, I would just incorporate whatever technical aspect I want to improve in the built-in drills or in the drills that actually simulates what's going to happen in the fight. So that was it. See you guys soon. That's the training advice for you guys. A lot of people ask me for drills. Oh, what is a drill to improve my to improve my fighting on the back foot? Like, bitch, improve, incorporate it in your shadow boxing, man. Practice fighting on the back foot when you're shadow boxing. That's it. There's no magic drill. There's no magic drill book out there that will teach you these things. It's all about doing them in your own simulation exercises, in your own training, in the built-in drills, not in the external drills. So that was it, man. See you guys soon. Peace out.